and drug dealer, you can turn off your finger. Thank you. Um, I want to welcome everybody today. Um, every time I speak in public, I think about the first time that I spoke in public, which was when I was about 11. Uh, my mother and my best friend, Todd, uh, encouraged me to join the 4-H uh, speech team. Um, and so I joined and I gave uh, a presentation on troll dolls. Um, they were very popular at the time, it was the early 90s, okay? So um, I did get a blue ribbon, I think. I might have been a red ribbon, but I'm, in my memory it's a blue ribbon. So. Um, Um, I promised pleather, um, so here it is. Uh, pleather is, of course, a key material in my practice. Um, of course, it's not easy to sew, um, so I thought a lot about the origins of it in my work. Well, of course, back in 1992, at about the same time I was giving that troll doll lecture, um, I saw the movie Batman Returns, um, and of course, I made Ben watch it a few minutes, a few weeks ago, so he's familiar with that. I know at least one person here has watched it. Um, it one part of the storyline is uh, revolves around a lonely secretary named Selena Kyle. This is Selena Kyle. Um, I don't know it's, it's looking a lot darker than I thought on my screen. It's okay, you guys can imagine she's falling out of the window. Um, <laughs> uh, Selena Kyle is, of course, pushed out of a window by a character played by Christopher Walken. He's her evil corporate boss. Um, the fall really should have uh, killed her, but in this kind of like Lazarus, Easter kind of scene, uh, she's laying on the ground and she's magically revived after falling like 10 stories out of the building in the snow. Um, of course, she, she runs home after she's revived from the dead. She runs home to her one bedroom apartment. And um, instead of calling the police, which would be the normal kind of stage of action after you've been pushed out of a window and survive, um, she decides to redecorate and destroy all the tokens of femininity in her apartment. Basically, she freaks out. Um, she puts all of her uh, stuffed animals down the trash compactor. Um, she can't really see it really well here, but she's actually spray painting a uh, kitty sweatshirt that she has. It kind of looks like a Josh Bob piece <laughs> with the spray paint. It's great. Um, and then, of course, the, the next thing she does is she decides to um, deconstruct a pleather jacket into a full body pleather suit. Now, suspension of disbelief, okay? So she works, um, she works kind of like a maniac and, uh, and puts together, starts to put together this suit. Of course, all she has are, is this Belvedere sewing machine, which of course everybody has. Um, but she kind of quickly puts it, I would love one, I'd love that little Belvedere ring. Um, she quickly puts it together and, and hand stitches it, and she also decides to add to the costume these uh, seam rippers as her claws. And then of course, she becomes the incredibly sexy and beautiful uh, drag mother of mine, a cow. And so Catwoman's suit, it has all these, um, all these kind of poorly, is like really poorly hemmed, but at the same time it's really well fitted. It's kind of, um, it's kind of this weird 90s version of a punk rock Catwoman. Um, and so she's kind of become, she kind of, I think, is one of the, kind of the starting points for the way in which I work. Um, things become really tight at some points, and then other points the seams start to rip apart, and that kind of reveals this sort of frenzy or a certain necessity in the need to bring uh, different pieces together. 